Question 3. A. Define each of the following terms and state one example of each. So the first one is what is a market as it relates to marketing. And they have asked this for a weirdly amount of three marks. I mean, I would expect them to ask it for two marks, but here we are going to answer it for three marks. All right, so we have uh, the definition here and the example. So a market is any situation where buyers and sellers interact. So it's not only a physical place, it's any situation. So this can be face-to-face uh, -face or virtually through an e-commerce store. This is how, well, it is for three marks. Oh, I was surprised how it's three marks, but it makes sense. Two marks for the definition, one mark for the example. And the example we have is the stock market. It's an example as buyers and sellers of stock meet and interact through the stock market. So we got our three marks, three market. Now let's go and get three marks for marketing. All right, so we're looking at how we get any three marks for marketing. So we have marketing refers to all business activities geared towards identifying, anticipating, and satisfying customers' wants and needs. All right, so this is our, lo siento, lo siento. This is our definition here. So again, actually one mark for that there. Um, I didn't have space, so I'll put dot, 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 but I'll read it out, the entire sentence. So marketing involves building relationships with customers to make a profit. All right? So that is for this piece here, and that is how you'll get the second set of marks. And finally, within the example, an example of marketing is sales promotion, where individuals, where it's a short-term tactic done by businesses in order to increase sales. An example of sales promotion is like coupons, buy one, get one free. Let's go forward now into part into part B of question three. State two benefits of packaging products. This is like whenever I see state, I just get so happy. And I don't know if you all probably feel the happiness too, because it's like, hey, let's just boom, put the answer. So let's put it. So we are seeing here um, state two benefits of uh, packaging the product. So we have the first benefit, it protects the product from damage. Yeah, that's straightforward there. The second one we have is able to communicate the quality of the product to the customers. So when I, when it packaged nicely, you're able to say, ooh, wow, mm -hmm. that, that is a good product on the inside. You didn't see the product yet. You see the package, but you sold already. So that is what is able to do as well as on the packaging, like into you know, a lot of the drinks and a lot of not only drink just just products they have details about the product so drinks will have nutritional facts uh if we have uh if it's a cologne or perfume it'll have the name of the perfume and they give details about the contents and all the stuff that is in the product in the packaging of the product on the packaging of the product so as we have done so far in the past and well, in the crack, in the past people so far, I gave you all three. You pick and choose out of the three, whichever way is the best two you want going forward. So this is part B. Now let's run forth into part C. So part C, list three different forms of advertising and state the purpose of each form. So we see in list three, three different forms of advertising and we have to state their purpose and this is for six marks so the beautiful thing is you give the list you state the purpose let's write it out and have our discussion so we have list the three different forms of advertising and state the purpose for each one informative advertising uh, this form of advertising provides facts about a uh, product or service to the customers then after we have persuasive advertising persuasive advertising and this is where we try to convince the customers into buying our good or service and then we have competitive advertising where the company is saying that our good or service is better than the competitors there are also two other forms of advertising there's defensive advertising where a company is trying to 
prevent other another company from taking or from taking their customers and the last form of advertising is reminder advertising reminder advertising is where you're just trying to remind customers that we selling products one company that does that all the time is kfc they have no need to advertise big to big between me and you keep it here a secret but let me be real kfc don't need to advertise but they're advertising right through why because they just want you to have to the front of your head i get some fried chicken so that is part c of question three part d explain the importance of one of the elements of the marketing mix and this beautiful question is for three marks so of course in order to explain one of the elements of the marketing mix we first give what is the element that is one mark and within the explanation you just go into a description that's worth two marks or you could give an example as well let's go so explaining the importance of product so first we get a mark for stating product uh it refers to the goods and services that is made for and consumed by the consumers so that's what product is and then after we going on to explain the importance that the product is used to directly satisfy the wants and needs of the consumers if you want to elaborate even more you can kind of give an example so for example for a cologne the product is the fragrance within it within the food industry the product would be the actual food that is made so if you want to kind of give a little bit more to show what it is in order for people to see what the importance is so the food satisfies the wants the cologne satisfies the want of satisfies hunger the cologne satisfy the want to smell nice and that is with regards to product if we would i'll just kind of give a brief one a brief explanation of the other marketing other elements of the marketing mix if we were to answer using those so we have price price is where is the pricing strategy that the business will use and the pricing strategy will determine how the business goes about making their profits and surviving within the market so that is the importance of the pricing promotion promotion deals with the distribution channel how the good reach from the manufacturer to the consumer and the different channels will determine how much how yeah the different channels will determine how the business will be able to make their profits and let's go into promotions promotions is how the business will be able to get information about the product to the consumers and also how we're going to encourage consumers to purchase our goods and services and the importance of that is that this will be able to have consumers be aware of our products in the first place and consumers will also be incentivized to purchase our products and we can give examples sales promotion personal selling so that was the elements of the marketing mix let's go into part two of d explain one factor that would influence a consumer to buy a particular brand of product so if a con you say explain one factor and that influences the consumer to buy a particular uh, brand of product so a consumer's taste would be a factor that would influence her to purchase or to buy a particular brand of product and after we state taste after you state it you explain and which is taste you explain what taste is in the first place taste refers to personal preference of the consumer and then after this is where we do the linking explanation so we link in how will taste influence the consumer to buy a particular brand so if the particular brand satisfies the taste of a consumer she would be encouraged to frequently purchase that brand which builds brand loyalty and this is your three marks and this is we see in once you see this here this means that that is the end of the question so we have reached the end of question three let's power forward into question four